welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. And as I said earlier, we are going for the tower. Okay. And I think we can take care of us. I don't know why. I think we are supposed to get lots of food, which means Warren Kingdom. Can I take it? Is it somewhere here? Oh, it's very full. No, I'm going to get rid of that. Mm. We need food. We need a bunch of food. Yeah. Okay, let's go from the far right. I think it got them in the of cards now. <laughs> oh, that... Really, we have lots of cards. Okay. Mm. We can get food from this, from this. Here we can gain food as well. Trading house, okay, we can try. Thomas, the old garden thing, so. Mm, not really. Mm, maybe soon. Wait, what platinum card do I have to try? I don't know it. I think I have it because of something. Here we can gain food and we can gain equipment. Open town from platinum cards. I wish we that, but we still need one more. Give me Just give me. Oh, no, no. Actually, I can destroy them. So. Mm -hmm. Or character to the party. I always have. I have the soft spot for this one. I still haven't done that. Mm, the room for food, I think I left it. Okay, I took it out. Oh, let's see this. Right, take, take this. Give me this. Concentration. This is the one I. Okay, pain. I want to see this. Mm, maybe. I don't remember that there being any. Like this. I mean, this is again a most broken card. Hmm. Still collect this. Because we can gain food. <laughs> Traps have often been a factor oh, of the I game. Yet here they are transformed the into an end of themselves. Here they become the uh. entirety of our examination. It's not hard to approach it, I just don't want to leave it be. I don't want, I don't want anything uh, around the tower. I don't know if I want it. Uh, no. Okay, yes. Give me my food. I don't care about that. Give me my food. Please. Thank you. Actually, I need it. A splash of Get silver them, please, and an opportunity to mold the world to your liking. No. Okay. Oh, blight. Free to use a blight.
Yeah, three turns. She was a very long introduction. Good luck okay. taking this yeah, token okay. from me. Mm, okay, I wouldn't take it. Really? It's possible. Bones. I hope you have learned oh. to be their master. Okay. It was folks. You can buy the, the full black. Mm -hmm. Was all so fast? Oh, okay, so it's made and over. stuff and the stuff now since I killed them. Thank you. Ring of food. Sure. That's no looks fine. Trade equipment for food, one piece of equipment for two food. Oh, 
Tem um essa. Tower. We should be set off. God damn it, no. That's what I get. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that, that is fine. We're going straight to the tower. These are the gargoyles. You hear ancient gears in the walls click to life and the handle last door swing open. You enter, but as Ariadne goes to follow you, the gargoyle's eyes flare red and something sharp. sharp. No amount of pushing manages to batter it down ways up. You venture up the stairs, preparing yourself for whatever is in store. There's a fight? Really? Relieved, you pass through the trap level's exit. There's a stone lever by the exit, glowing silver light. You take the risk and pull it. A wreath of silver light passes through you. You feel a strange sensation in your kneecaps and you watch your coins disintegrate only to be replaced by other coins. Bizarrely, you sense that your maturity has changed. You wonder whether there is a pattern to the silver light magic. Pulling the lever appears to have deactivated the traps. It is now safe to join Who is it who dwells atop this tower? And why do they strive so to keep you out? Stairs spiral up into the darkness. As you stand the stairs, you pass a dimly lit landing. Landing empty safe for probably now a stone bird stuck in the center. Approach the statue. Close up, the statue's eyes are bored so deep into the stone that there is a dark endless pits. There is an inscription etched upon its snout. I laughed and she cursed me. I walked for an age to see her weeping. I felt fury as she kissed her lover. Grant me the face of my last hour. Of my last... Of my last hour. Angry? Grey gas pours out of such as I hold floating the room. Not quite enough, you break over in and cough wetly to your head. It's blood. Okay. I laughed and she cursed me. I walked for an age to see her weeping. Hmm? At first, nothing happens, and you feel quite foolish. Then, golden liquid begins to leak from the statue's eyes as it drips into onto the floor and turns into solid cold tears. After a time, the gold tears abate, and grinning and smiling is not rewarded with additional gold. You find nothing else of interest on this landing. You journey upwards into the tower of and arrive at another handleless door. The distant sound of blades holding more traps beyond the threshold beside it another stone gargoyle. Remembering your promise, you head back down to the tower to report back to Captain Hardwick. You report to Captain Hardwick about what you had witnessed within the tower. He notes it down and lets you go on your way. Okay, I don't need to go back. Sure, we'll get something from it. Yay. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. There's fight no matter what. Fight. 
mage and hold for these. Help us a lot uh, to be nice. And six more food. <laughs> we can discard this? Cool. We can go straight up the tower now. Of course it's not that easy. If we lose 15 food... Okay, that's good. Hello! Oh, it's just the captain. against all. Copentown, yeah, yeah, Copentown. No, okay. Maybe it's fine. It's not fine. Hi. His queens at shield and cries out, clapping his leathery hands in joy. Why, it's you! I'm honored, adventurer, simply honored! He insists on gifting you a basket of overflowing with freshly baked bread and fruit. Thank you. Give me some more, and we can go two levels up. Okay. I hope we'll be able to climb two levels of the tower. That they only need food each time. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. I'm always afraid that the game's gonna crash. It did a couple of times, and I had to redo. The last three or four encounters, something like this. Confident that Ariadne Who will kill them. Like I said, just like that, she killed me. Oh, she 
is using her Amazil as a helmet. Give me yourself. Sure, yeah. We climb the tower once again. Yep. Appease the guard. How easily will you pass the traps put there to stop you? I don't know. Hopefully, is enough. Because I'm very nimble. What the fuck? I'm burning book. Burning book. Civil light passes through you. The strength sensation it swaps. Like, oh, it swapped my food and health. More traps. My More food questions. and gold. Suddenly you hear a shriek like banshee and a dark shape comes rushing down the steps towards you. Dodge it! You lay flat against the wall and the dark shape rushes past into the light. You recognize the sigil of the Empire in the split second before its head snaps around to reveal a soldier. Her face is gaunt and pale, her eyes will wild. She waits, cold with tension at the bottom of the stairs. Slowly approach. Her eyes glance nervously around, but she stays frozen like a statue until you are a step away. Then, fiercely quick, she draws her sword and slashes downwards. You recall in pain from the blow. The soldier drops her sword as if disturbed by her actions. She looks fearfully into your face for a moment before running down the stairs. You quickly note what's further up the stairs, yet another gargoyle guard the door running after her. Captain's heart with surprise at the soldier's return of to the camp is replaced by a mask of pity and fear as she alternates between mistaking the from soldier from Mariam and weeping uncontrollably. Hardwick stops you before you go. Here, she has no use for it now and you saved her, this mask grandma. As much as she could be saved. Thanks! Mm, enter the tower. Piece the gargoyles. Yep. And what will you swap my fame and food this time? I would like that. This is pretty much. In Even uh, try and explore this maze, these mazes. Too much trauma after trying to defeat M Minotaur and Fratman. Relieved, you pass through the trap at its exit. You pull the stone level by the exit. A breath of silver light passes through you. The experience leaves you feeling humble. Yay! The end is in sight. As you climb, you notice more it? and more vines breaking through the tower masonry. You reach the next landing and you draw drops. Somehow, growing from the stone is a huge tree. It seems ancient, craning your neck as its branches disappear high in the darkness above. It sways gently despite there being no breeze. Okay. You grab hold of a branch and hoist yourself up. As you navigate the twisted branches, you feel like a child again. The light flows peacefully through the leaves. Dappling tower in a warm glow. Eh, climb by them. You journey higher into the tower, the stairs spiral around and around at the massive tree of what seems like an age. Finally, you retreat another bar door and it's around for a century. A century. You head back down to the port, now we're going back up. Mages Ooh. have always had to deal with fear. The usurper has organized an inquisition to put an end to us. He has not succeeded yet. 
Though no hungry gargles bar your way, the traps have been powered up again. You quit your teeth and enter the first trap level once more. You must switch the top of the door before it's too late. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's too late. Yeah. So now we are on time, TT. This is not the first one, this is. Okay, we have plenty time. Okay, we have plenty of time. Still. 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 or 15. With no time to waste, you mount the stairs to the next trap level. This one was long. Yeah, this one was long. Straight drawing ragged breaths to continue toward the third trap level. Is it the final one? You ready yourself and run through the door. I hope it's the final one, but I feel I'm being teased. seconds left. <laughs> Don't, I'm not going down, I'm going up. Come on. Sure. Past the story you go ever upward to the next gargoyle, you find the way clear. The door is ajar. You push past it, but it doesn't lead to another trap level. A cold breeze buffets you. You are outside, being pulled this way and that by the wind. If you fell, it would be your death. Stairs loop around the tower, leading upwards, surely to the top. They reached the top to see an old robed woman restrained in ropes, Captain Hardwick holding a sword to her throat. There is no pity in his eyes as he looks to you, only wild fear. Back! You have been corrupted by mage filth, unnatural, dangerous, filth! His voice rises shrilly as he lifts his sword for the executioner's blow. You leap forward and parry his strike. <laughs> of course, the Empire. The mages, they don't want, they won't try to interrogate her. They only want to kill her. And his mother. Respected by his soldiers and family men, the fund is for fishing and now we will die. Generals cause damage to Aria. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, we know what they To untie the old maid, she stares and blinking. You are the one who will kill him. Who are you? 
I am the sorceress at the tower. She doesn't appear to have anything else to say on the matter. Ask about the emperor. Emperor? She licks her trailing lips. Is that what he calls himself now? The sorceress becomes frustrated at your clear confusion. The game of life and death, girl. He controls it now, and the lands whips for it. The north is burning. Peasants are forced to leave their homes and wander until they starve. Have you not seen the slave ships sent south? They creak, peel to the brim of his own children. He will force the world into submission if he must. She turns to you in voice lord. And he wants to kill you. The Reaper. This heart we command. Yes, yes! The sorceress grasps your hands in hers. He wants to slice your head from your shoulders, to flare your skin and burn you alive, but you evade him at every turn. Do you not feel it in the air? The land rebels against his iron grip. The sorceress sweeps her arms high as a deep rumble fills the sky. The high priestess will soon descend the mountains on the great beast as her people fast hope. The mages brew anarchy, the blight grows stronger every day. Soon the very sea will run red. This will not end unless he is dead. Her head snaps to you, suddenly suspicious. What will you do if you face him? What are you talking about? Her ink black eyes scrutinize you. Listen closely. Do not trust the game. Do not trust those who covet the game's power. Heed these words. Before Kalas there was another, and before him another, and another before that. Petro, wrinkled hands grab yours. Swear to me, if it comes to it, eyes are blacker than I. Smash it. Burn the throne. Split the game down the middle so no one may sit at the table again. I'll try. Oh no, not the silver gear. I hate it. <laughs> we get some new stuff. I hate this confused gear. Demon eye. That was intense. Didn't expect to be that intense, but it was. Hey! Only threat. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!